Hey, I'm Cameron McKenzie at Cameron MCNZ on Twitter, and I wanted to talk to you about how you can quickly install Jenkins on Tomcat. The installation of Jenkins on Tomcat really couldn't be easier. You just head over to Jenkins.io slash downloads and grab that generic Java package war file. I've already downloaded that. I'll go into my downloads folder and you'll see there's the Jenkins.war file and it's about 65 megs in size, not too big. Now we are installing on Tomcat, which means the JDK has to be installed. You'll need at least JDK 8 for Jenkins. JDK 11 is the latest long-term support release and that's the one that I'm using. And of course, if you're installing on Tomcat, you need Tomcat. And I've got Tomcat download. I just downloaded the zip file, extracted it, renamed the file Tomcat 09, and there you go, boom, I've got Tomcat 9 installed on my local machine. So I then just go into that web apps folder and paste that war file in there. Anytime you want to deploy a war file to Jenkins, that's all you have to do. Place the war file in that web apps folder and the next time Tomcat runs, it will start it up. Now talking about starting Tomcat, in order to start Tomcat, I got to go into that bin directory. I'm going to open up a bash shell here. You can do it in a DOS prompt. You could even just double click on the startup.bat file, but I like to just type it in startup.bat and that will kick the Apache Tomcat server off. And if you inspect the log files, you'll probably even see a reference to the Jenkins war. There it is right there. Boom. You can actually see that it's trying to deploy that application. It may take a moment or two. And once it's deployed, I can head over to localhost 8080 and bring up the Tomcat Jenkins hosted application. Jenkins, Tomcat hosted, you get what I'm saying. Now, by the way, when Jenkins does start up for the first time, if you haven't configured Jenkins home, it'll put all of its configuration information into the uh, user's home folder. So in just a moment, expect a .jenkins folder to appear in this owner folder as that's the user that I've logged in with. And there we go. I think we can see it right there. Dot Jenkins, where everything is getting installed. You can see this right here. Now, you'll notice that in the Tomcat output, it's given me a little hexadecimal number. I'm going to copy that. It may be difficult to copy it here just in case the status window keeps getting logged. Uh, you can always go into this Jenkins home folder. You'll notice there's a, a little file they've placed on the file system under user home dot Jenkins secrets and that is the admin password as well you can open that up with notepad and you'll see this secret key you'll want to copy that and why will you want to copy it why am I telling you to copy this great big long hexadecimal number well that's because if you go to localhost 8080 slash Jenkins right now 8080 being where Tomcat is running it's going to say hey I need that long hexadecimal number that was pasted into that secrets file. So I just paste that in here, click continue, and you can see uh, you can see that Jenkins is, well, it's now running on Tomcat. Um, this is the initial configuration. How do you want to go forward? The suggested plugins or the defaults? I'm gonna install the suggested plugins. And with all the plugins installed, I can now create the admin user. I just like to go Jenkins, Jenkins, Jenkins right across the board here as the username, password, and the full name, and even the email address, Jenkins at example.com. Click save and continue. You might want to secure that a little bit more if it's a production system. Now it says it's running on localhost 8080. I know that because that's the host that I already logged into. You can actually see it right up there. And there you go. Jenkins is now installed. If you actually want to do a little hello world, we can do that. Do the Jenkins hello world. Little build job. Create a freestyle build job. Click OK in there. And uh, this is all on Windows, so all I'm going to do is just go down to where it says build, add a build step. I'm going to execute a Windows batch command if you're doing this on Linux or Ubuntu, you'd use a shell. And all I'm going to do is say echo hello world. And then echo Tomcat Jenkins install. And there you go. It really couldn't get simpler than that. I'll click apply and save. 
click save and then apply click this build now button and that Jenkins build job builds I can go over here take a look at the console output and you can see it says hello world and Tomcat Jenkins install and there you go you now have Jenkins installed on Tomcat with the Jenkins home folder under the users directory in a folder called dot Jenkins you can even take a look at the workspace and you'll see that Jenkins hello world application I actually created a little folder in there to store any information that it needed it didn't need much because it was just hello world but there you go that's how you install Jenkins on Apache Tomcat and there you go that's how you install Jenkins on Apache Tomcat now if you enjoyed that tutorial why don't you head over to the serverside.com I'm the editor-in-chief over there lots of great tutorials on Jenkins Tomcat enterprise software development in general if you're interested in my personal antics you can always follow me on Twitter and subscribe on the YouTube